You'll have to wait. Um, yes. Hi, I'm Bob Bazer. I'm a writer. Uh, short stories, uh, books, screenplays, stage plays. I have two finished full-length screenplays and two finished books. Uh, a few more that are half done. Uh, I first started writing pretty much like anybody else. You know, you're in school and the teacher says, all right, I want you to write a short story about this or that. And I wrote one. And um, it was funny. And uh, I ended up having to read it for the class. And it kind of went from there. Now that's just that's what I'm doing. I, I realize that people enjoy my writing. And it's, it's, it can be funny. It can be poignant. So, um, you know, I, I get satisfaction out of it as well as others. I get inspiration from a lot of different places, from books, from, from movies. Um, David Sedaris is a huge inspiration as far as uh, writing and novels. Uh, Mario Puzo, uh, as far as, you know, screenplays, stage plays. David Ives, definitely. Um, Aaron Sorkin, actually, as of recently, uh, got into the West Wing in Studio 60. He's got a really like, snappy kind of dialogue that I um, try to... Not mimic, but like, I guess mimic. But um, uh, definitely Woody Allen. Uh, whenever I get writer's block, actually, I just pop in Annie Hall, and uh, for some reason, that can just get me going again. Uh, if I could, if I could write something like Annie Hall, if I could do something like Annie Hall that has that kind of just seamless passage through time and the characters and the silliness and and, and, and even the seriousness of it. Um, I'd probably put a bullet in my brain right after that because it just it, it, it wouldn't get any better than that. So I uh, I can't write at home because uh, there's TV, there's the phone keeps ringing, it's just too distracting. So I usually go out, I'll sit at the coffee shop, I'll sit at the park, uh, put my headphones in, nobody's gonna bother me. So that's that's where I'm going now, apparently. Uh, where do I see myself in the next ten years? Uh, ideally. Uh, I'd like to ha finish a novel or two, uh, get those published. Um, I'd love to sell a screenplay, sell a short. Um, I'm actually uh, getting involved with the sketch comedy group, SNL. I mean, any, just to be in the business, just to be selling writing, to get insurance benefits through selling writing would, would be wonderful. Um, but really just, I mean, anything in the industry, anything where I'm allowed to be creative, where there isn't a tight leash around me saying, write this, write that. Um, and even then, if there is, uh, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just I want to be in the industry. I want to be making money writing. I don't want to be sitting in a cubicle. I don't want to do any of that. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully less than 10 years, but at least in 10 years. Yeah. This is the park near my house. Uh, I come here sometimes to relax or write. Um, usually I'll go to the coffee shop, but uh, sometimes I'll come here. Um, live in Tampa, Florida right now, and as you see the weather's about to turn, uh, we get a hurricane every day, just about. Uh, category like 0.5, it doesn't really hit the scale, but it, it's here. Uh, moved to New York in about a month, so I'll escape this. Um, but uh, no, I'll come here, I'll go to the coffee shop with like a book or you know whatever if I want to write, about an hour or two just to get away. I try and write every day uh, for at least an hour or so, um, even if it's not something I'm gonna keep or I'm gonna use. Um, you just you gotta keep sharp, you always, Got to keep uh, keep working. Uh, to prepare for for my career, um, it's basically been a long time coming. Uh, like I said, I try and write every day. Um, I went to college for creative writing. Uh, for the most part, I found it pretty discouraging. Um, I'd hand in, you know, a short story, and the, and the professor would say, "Well, what's the point of this story? What are you trying to to uh, to convey?" And I said, "Humor." He goes, "That's that doesn't count." And uh, shortly after, I uh, I dropped out of school. Um, I dropped this school. I canceled my studentship. They didn't kick me out. I left. Um, I have two actually finished screenplays that I'm actually proud of. <clears throat> One is um, it's called Brutally Honest. It's basically what would happen in relationships if everyone just told the truth all the time. And it's three non-linear stories. And uh, right now, as a writer, uh, kind of focusing uh, on the realm of sketch comedy. Um, and actually, right now, I'm about to run into a uh, rehearsal for um, a sketch comedy show that I wrote with uh, a co-writer. Uh, basically, this show covers everything from relationships to uh, cannibalism and uh, you know the end of the world, things like that. So it's, it's, it's a pretty fun show. We've gotten a pretty good response from the few people who've sat in on rehearsals. And um, when I get to New York, actually, I'm going to be hopefully be joining up with this sketch comedy troupe up there, writing and, and performing sketch comedy with them, is in addition to you know everything that I'm doing on my own. So. This is the copy of the script for the play, and we're going to be rehearsing in here, and so you have to leave now. 